The Toronto Blue Jays have six games remaining in the regular season. That is the Rogers Center. That is where they will take on the New York Yankees tonight. 707 Eastern time. It is King for the Yanks. It is Kevin Gossman, the ace for the Toronto Blue Jays. The Blue Jays playing good ball at the right time. They've won seven of their last nine games. Keegan Matheson does a great job covering the Blue Jays on a daily basis. He's kind enough to give us some of his time now. And Keegan, I tell you what, this game is always about runs playing at the right time and the Blue Jays are doing just that. What have you seen from them in the last week and a half? They seem to really be embracing their identity as a team that relies on pitching and defense. And in Toronto, I don't think we're exactly used to that. If you look back at those wild card runs of 2015, 2016, that was big offense. That was exciting. That was fireworks. And even recently, go back to 2021, probably the best offense in the league. Last year, a more powerful offense. This year, closer to the middle of the league. And while that is a bit of a disappointment, their pitching has been incredible. The starting rotation is fantastic. The bullpen, really good. The best bullpen we've seen in Toronto in a long time, maybe ever. And when you pair that with an offense that's now being timely, they're doing enough at the right time. It's starting to work, and it's working in the way they want it to. You really see the confidence kind of spinning off of that. You know, you mentioned the ERA of the starting staff, and really Blue Jays pitching, as you mentioned, the bullpen as well, has been really good. A 3.74 ERA, the best in the majors, Keegan. And let's think about the fact they didn't have Alec Manoa for a better part of this. It's been a, a disastrous season for Manoa. Is what they've done without him even more surprising, even more impressive? It is. That's the opening day starter. And they are doing this without him. It's unbelievable what this rotation has done. And when I look at rotations around this time of year, I've started to look more at the top four. That's who you're going to get in the postseason. And that eliminates the churn or the openers down at number five. But even when the Blue Jays go five deep, they've had Hunjin Ryu come back from Tommy John. Perfect timing. He has nailed every bit of that. This is such a good group. And when you look at that top four, they have thrown more innings than anyone in baseball. Seattle's number two, and it's not all that close. But big seasons from Jose Barrios and Yusei Kikuchi, which we did not expect. I would love to say there's a video of me predicting both. There's not. They were <laughs> neither of them had a strong year last year. You know what you'll get from Kevin Gossman. Chris Bassett has been fantastic. He will have a shot at 200 innings this year. But Yusei Kikuchi and Jose Barrios, both of the five ERA last year, They've bounced back incredibly this season, and they have been healthy all year long. You see the benefit of not having to go eight, nine, ten guys deep. Yeah, Chris Bassett making the most of that three-year, $63 million deal that he was given. He's putting up the numbers that he needs to. You say Kikuchi, Keegan, make sure he gets enough sleep. He left his start last time because he only got 11 hours of sleep. He typically gets 14. Did you know this about him prior to his removal of his last outing? I did not, and it's impressive, and, and it's a legitimate sleep block of 14 hours. I can see the eight hours, the lay around, the fall back asleep. <laughs> yeah, he does it. I do not understand how. It, it's more hibernation than sleep. But between that, and I'm, I'm a little biased on this front, he added a great beard in 2023, and things have turned around. I will point to that yes. one a little bit as well. That must be the reason for the bounce back year for Kikuchi. Not sure what the reason is for Barrios, but he's definitely having a strong year too compared to last season. You mentioned health when it comes to the pitching. How about the health of George Springer? My goodness, the other day I'm watching the ball game, the inside the park home run, an unbelievable, two really great defensive plays by Springer. Yeah. What a difference his healthy legs have made. It's incredible seeing him at 100%. We haven't seen a lot of that over the first couple of years. Because when George is at 100%, playing every day, what a special player this guy is in every single facet of the game. And in about 20 minutes the other day in Tampa, you saw all of it. You saw the power, the legs, the glove, the arm, back to back to back to back. It was an incredible burst of baseball from Springer. And this is why the Blue Jays signed George Springer. This is why they gave him six years, $150 million for moments like this, late September, early October, hopefully for them close to November. But he's going to be up close to that 153, 54 games played this year. And that move to right field, I think Alana has been very kind to him. That's kept him on the field. And you've seen his incredible ball skills. Might not still have that elite speed, but when he is near a ball, he's making that catch. There have been, feels like dozens of diving catches from George Springer in right field this year. If he's close to it, he is not missing it.
And how about that? He knows that we're talking about him. He's just walking out there at Rogers there Center, getting ready for the ball game already in the must, Is it picture day today? Like, what is he? What, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., his bat is heating up. It is picture day today. His bat is heating up. We need that to happen for the Blue Jays, Keegan, to do what they want to do in the postseason. They do. Now, given Vladdy's season up to this date, you know what it can look like. It's been a high 700s OPS most of the year. Nobody in this roster is capable of what Vladdy can do at his very best, and that is change a game. The Blue Jays all season long, the home run power hasn't quite been there. And yes, they have rebranded as a pitching and defense team. You can still hit home runs, and those two things probably pair together really nicely. Vladdy is a guy who can steal a series, completely steal a series all by himself. He's looked great lately, had a bit of a knee thing late in the year, more just a product of a lot of baseball than an actual injury. But he's back in that lineup. This is the best he's looked all year. I think I've said that five or six times through the year, but this feels the closest. And at his best, he can completely change who this team is. Do you feel the same about Bo Bichette? He struggled a bit in September, but he still has an average mm -hmm. over 300. Keegan, he has 20 home runs. I mean, this guy can be a game changer. I don't know if he's a series changer. What do you think? He is so steady, and I really think the face of this offense, Bo, has been this year. And I should shout out his defense as well. We have not talked about it as much, which is a compliment to Bo at shortstop. But when he is in the lineup, such a steady producer of power, of base hits, he's good on the bases. He has looked fantastic this year. Too bad that he missed that time. I think that'll take away from some of his hit overall counting totals that would get him some of that back ballot MVP consideration, I think, frankly, for Bo Bichette. But so good in the box. If he wants to work a 12-14 pitch at bat, it seems like he can just decide to do that. He has an incredible ability to foul off pitches, get his pitch, and he's turning into having a bit of a signature hit. It's that shot ball down the right field line. He can sneak it past the first baseman with power. Such a unique hitter. As a pitcher, must be so frustrating to face, and that is maybe the best compliment you can give to a young hitter like Bo. I tell you what, this is a team that is good on both sides of the ball. You talked about mm -hmm. Bo Bichette, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Kevin Biggio is playing well, Varsho, Kiermaier, Springer. You guys got it all. Best of luck, Keegan. We appreciate your time as always. Hey, thank you, Alana. We'll talk again soon.